Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm Amaya if you're new here and today I'm going to be talking about a smile direct if you don't know what smile direct is It's basically a company where you could like straighten your teeth and everything from at home without actually having to go to like a dentist's office You could do it all from the comfort of your home and it's basically also a cheaper Version of straightening out your teeth without having to pay thousands of dollars So basically I'm just gonna be sharing like my experience I've had with them and whether or not I think you should do it or not so make sure you keep watching the video and if you're not already subscribed make sure you click the subscribe button down below to watch my videos and get more content but without further ado let's just get into the video so starting off i basically decided to join it about two years ago in the beginning of quarantine i remember at the time it the quarantine just started and so like dentist's office weren't really allowing like not necessarily allowing it but they really only recommended like going to the dentist for like medical like serious medical issues or something like that so they really weren't doing like invisalign and like all that at the time and like i i didn't want to go necessarily through the dentist because i didn't like have insurance or anything for that so like i already know that i was going to be paying out of pocket so much money and i honestly didn't have a lot of issues with my teeth i'll show before pictures of my teeth I'm a little insecure about it, but I know some people are going to be like, oh, it's not that bad. But me personally, I'm, I'm still insecure about my teeth. I was always like insecure about my teeth. Um, it's mainly so like the top row of my teeth, I didn't like. I had spaces, like really, really tiny spaces, like on this side of my mouth that I did not like. And of course, it wasn't really noticeable to other other people, but it was really noticeable to me. And it was like, I didn't want to pay all of that money for braces just to fix that. And so I remember seeing smile direct i always saw it like pop up i'm pretty sure like people still see it pop up today on like all their social medias but i decided to look into it i watched several videos about it i saw a lot of good videos but also a lot of bad videos of people talking about it i didn't really like think too much about it because honestly i had really small minor issues like i didn't have like an overbite and all this other kind of stuff i needed fixing so i thought honestly it would be a perfect fit for me so i decided to join smile direct about two years ago and basically i'm just gonna be kind of like talking about like the process of it uh, which was like my first red flag of it i remember when joining it i had to like you had to create your account and basically when creating my account i was definitely looking more into like into like fully doing it but they required like a 200 dollars down payment to get started on it and i remember when i was filling out my information my credit card information everything i never like was confirming that they could pull 200 dollars out of my account when joining I just remember like signing, like getting all of my stuff like set up on it. And I remember I left it alone because I wanted to get like a little bit more money into my account. Cause this was like two years, two years ago. I wasn't working like that much. I would think I was like, just got out of high school when like joining it. So I wanted to still get like a little bit more money into my account before doing that. Basically when I had put all my information in and like left it alone, the next day I got an email from them like saying that they confirmed it or i don't know i'm not i'm not really sure what all it said but i remember i looked at my bank account and they did pull money out of my bank account they pulled 200 dollars out of my account without me consenting that i wanted to do this and i wanted to join i literally just put my information in it wasn't confirming that i was doing anything or anything it was just telling me i needed to to fill this out to further like go on with it but i didn't know that it was going to be pulling this money out of my account so i don't know if anybody else if when they signed up for smile direct if they experienced that or not but i was not consenting to pull the money out but at the time i didn't complain about it or anything or ask for a refund i was just like okay well they already pulled the money out so whatever i'll just stay at work a little bit longer and just whatever i'm already halfway into it now so that was just kind of like the first red flag for me. I don't know if anybody else like had experienced that, but honestly it was like, whatever, I pushed it aside. So basically when starting out, they basically, you send in molds. Like I said, everything is done online. So you're not seeing a dentist. I took my own pictures of my mouth 
they sent me a mold in and definitely a good thing about the company is that they're really really fast like they will send you it you're not waiting a long time for things or anything like that but definitely something that is really frustrating if you have been with smile direct is honestly like having to complain about something if it's like something's not right or something with money or something like that there's like an online chat where you're talking to somebody and it's just like they're not really i don't think they're like part of the dentist company honestly i think it's just like some random people like somewhere else who are just like sending this into the dentist company if that makes any sense of what i'm saying so whenever i was ready to like start my process or whatever i got my box in the mail and right away when you get your box you get a little slip of paper that says like everything that's supposed to be in your box and i noticed right away that i was actually missing like my invisalign file basically you're gonna have a file to file down your invisalign but I'll explain what that's needed for later on. So my box was missing something and I actually been reading like the reviews about it. I saw a lot of people saying that they were missing items from outside of their box. I remember I didn't complain about it. I didn't, I didn't say anything or anything at the time. I really didn't think it was gonna be that much needed, but it actually was because basically when you get your kit, it's going to, you have like, they assign you like a certain amount of weeks that you're going to be doing the Invisalign for. I don't remember how many weeks I was doing it for, but I'll show you on the screen. I'll find it. Um, so basically I was doing this for a certain amount of weeks. So all of my Invisaligns were in the box. So over the course of time, a major issue I was having with was how my Invisalign was fitting. A lot of my Invisaligns like didn't even it wasn't even shaped like a tooth on that, like some of them. Like I remember I had like a big problem with one of my Invisaligns because I say, for example, I was like on week four or whatever, I would go to my, my week five one and like it couldn't even go in my mouth because it wasn't even shaped like a tooth. And I was just like, what the heck? So I basically, what you have to do is like go online and like go into like their little live chat. And it's really hard communicating with these people and trying to explain it to them. And when I told the lady like what the issue was, she literally just told me just skip that week and go on to a next one. So throughout my process, this was happening a lot to me and I was experiencing a lot of pain in my mouth because I was jumping from like a week four of Visalign to like a week seven to like then go to a week eight, but then they wanted me to go to like week to week 10. So I was skipping over some of my Invisaligns and basically when you have your Invisalign, it doesn't move all of your teeth at once. Some of the aligners are only gonna move like two teeth or so at one time. So whenever I was skipping around like this, which I was told to do from the people online, I was experiencing a lot of pain in my mouth because I personally don't think that that's normal. They didn't wanna send me like a new Invisalign that would fit my mouth. They kept telling me to just skip a week and see how that one fits. And it was, but it was really hard to get it on my tooth. So throughout the process, it was, my mouth was in a lot of pain, but I was definitely noticing a lot of changes within my bottom row of my teeth. My main issue was that I was not seeing any change in the front, like in the top part of my teeth, which was my main issue on why I even did Smile Direct was because I didn't like the spaces right here on the top part of my teeth. And again, I'll put like, pictures throughout the whole video on the screen of what my teeth were looking like and try to explain like the issues that I wanted fixed. So overall, like I was saying, that was probably like definitely a, like the main thing that I didn't like about the company is that if you have a problem with your Invisalign, that they don't like send you a new one in the mail if it doesn't fit, they just recommend you go to the next one. And so you're gonna experience like a lot of pain in your mouth. Another thing that I was experiencing was that some of the Invisaligns like itself was very poorly made. Like, and what I mean by that is like, if you know like what Invisalign looks like, some of them are going, like the plastic on it is going to scratch you really badly, but some of them were just very like, they had like little pieces sticking out of it from whenever they made it, if that makes sense. Like some of them, the way it was like filed, it was still like, like some pieces were like chipped out, if that makes sense. And so it would scratch your mouth really, really bad. And because my kit never came with a file, I didn't have anything to really file it down with. And I tried getting a nail file, but I was scared I was gonna break it. So I just wound up going online and they told me to just get like a wax like that people use for like braces. Cause that kind of happens with braces. It kind of like pokes you and stuff like that. So I did was using dental wax for a while and that did wind up 
helping, but my kid didn't come with a file, so I never could file it down. And I was just skipping a lot of Invisalign. Um, I was skipping a lot of my weeks because a lot of them just, a lot of them just didn't fit me. It wasn't even shaped like a tooth. So <laughs> I was skipping around a lot, which was, I think really hindered like my results that I had on my teeth. So fast forward, forward basically to basically i only had like two weeks left and i at this point i was so so mad because literally none of the top row of my teeth had moved overall throughout the whole process i only noticed a difference in the bottom row of my teeth again i'll try and put photos right here only the bottom of row of my teeth had major changes and i love them i like the way my bottom teeth look they came out good I was happy with it, but my main issue on why I joined it was to fix the top row of my teeth. Like I, the bottom row of my teeth really didn't bother me because it really wasn't noticeable unless my head was like tilted down or something like that. So it wasn't like noticeable at all. So I basically had to send in this long email to the live chat and basically I had to get a whole reevaluation on my teeth, go through a whole process of it, send them photos and everything again. And something that I'm confused about still to this day is if they charged me for the reevaluation because I don't personally remember like what my original payment was. I'll put my payment on my screen. I'm still making the payments to this day on my teeth, which is why I'm pretty sure they did charge me for a reevaluation. I'm not sure because they never said that, but I just feel like you know, I agreed to the payments that we did have before on what I was going to be paying for. And if they didn't fix the top row of my teeth and had to give me a reevaluation, I feel like I shouldn't have to pay for that because it should have, you know, the liner should have worked beforehand. And I honestly think because I was skipping so many aligners that it was hindering like my results on my mouth. So I don't know if I was charged for it or not. They never told me anything. They just confirmed it and sent me new aligners. So I have no idea. And so basically when they sent me the new aligners, you don't get like a new kit or everything. You just get like a little package. And I think it was only like a few weeks I had, I think they gave me it for like five weeks worth of aligners. And instantly when they gave me that new package of aligners, my within the first week, my teeth were basically already fixed within the top row of my teeth. I absolutely loved it. Loved it. It hurt like hell is just my... They were really, really tight, but you know, honestly, I love the results that I got from it. Like I said, I really didn't have like a lot of issues with my teeth to begin with. I had minor fixes, but they gave me so many aligners at that point. And it was just like, I had so many different emails from these people. I don't even know if I was charged for it or not. They never told me anything about payment. So I don't know if I was or not. So now the next thing I would like to discuss is like after I had the end, like after when you reach the end of your Smile Direct journey, you are supposed to pay like $100 for a retainer. So still to this day, I have never ordered a retainer for it. I was just using the last set of my aligners to keep my teeth in place, but I'm definitely probably gonna do maybe another reevaluation with them. I'm not really sure. Yeah, because definitely a, there's been some changes in my teeth because when you keep reusing an aligner like that, it loosens up. And of course, when it loosens up, your teeth aren't going to stay as in place as they once were. But here's where the big red flag played in. So basically, like I said, to this day, I never ordered like a retainer from this company. I have I stopped my journey on my teeth a year ago now. It was in October of last year. So October of 2020 is the last time I had any type of contact with these people. And it was about, I wanna say about a month ago now, I got a random email from them in the morning saying like, oh, your confirmation was confirmed, like your retainers are on their way, da 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 da. And I was like, what? I checked my bank account and these people pulled out like $100 out of my account and i was just like what the heck and so i go onto the pages company and keep in mind like i said i haven't had any contact with these people in a year so i'm really confused about how money just got pulled out of my account like that and not to mention like i said i haven't had con contact with them in a year from now if you watch my videos you know i moved like a few months ago so they still had like my old old address that i lived in and everything like none of none of my stuff was changed on the account because i completely like 
stop doing like smile direct like i didn't have anything to do with the company or anything so i'm still like, confused on how like a month ago today how money just got pulled out of my account so basically i had to go to contact support uh with the people and they were just telling me they were like yeah it was confirmed in your account that you wanted a new retainer or whatever and i was trying to explain to them i'm like okay so y'all can see from my records that i have not had anything to do with y'all for a year from now how would y'all even still have a record of like my teeth because my teeth have changed of course from a year ago when i had my last aligner so how do y'all have the new molds of my teeth i still have my old address i'm like i didn't order this so i'm not sure why money was pulled out of my account for this and this isn't the first time like i said that i didn't confirm to have money pulled out of my account and they go ahead and just pull it out and basically the guy like didn't know like what to tell me or anything and i was so angry about it because like if i had a payment or something in my account because i have other payments for and the money was in my account and my account would have overdraft i would have been livid so good thing i caught it in time but for some reason the guy couldn't give me any explanation on to why money was pulled out of my account for a new retainer especially it just literally makes no sense whatsoever he couldn't give me any type of explanation for it I don't even know what they were going to send me considering they don't even have the record for my teeth now anymore. So still to this day, I have no idea, but that's definitely a red flag that I noticed a lot with this company is that they're really quick to pull money out of your account for no reason. I mean, and not even that, I'll put like the messages like up on the screen, but basically he was telling me it was going to be about 12 business days for it to be back into my account. I'm like, bro, like what? So that was really, really frustrating to deal with. So overall with this company, it was like they never could give me exact reason on why they, I'm like money kept accidentally getting pulled out of my account. They, if I had issues with my teeth or a liner not fixing me, they would just tell me to like skip a week and it was causing me a lot of teeth pain. So it was definitely like dealing with like, uh, like all problems with these people. And I had so many emails with these people. Like, I don't know at this point what I was charged for honestly i'm still trying to pay off on what i had started like two years ago so honestly i don't know if they charge me for a reevaluation or not they don't really like tell you all of this stuff so it's just like throughout the whole thing i just had a lot of issues with them but overall would i say i liked my teeth results i'm gonna say yeah i did like the way like my teeth looked on the end process of it of course now they're not how they looked a year ago when i was finished with it because i never ordered my retainer but that was completely my fault i still have like my older liner that i put in my mouth every now and then so they don't move too much but um it was just little problems that i kept experiencing with them so i don't know if like any other if anybody else had those problems with them or not but overall the overall of my smile i would say i did like it overall i would not recommend doing it if like you have major changes that you want to make to your teeth so like if you have like an overbite or underbite like don't expect them to be able to fix that like they couldn't even fix like small results like that on my teeth it took them that long to be able to fix my teeth so i promise you they're your if you have major issues on your teeth, just pay to get like braces, don't go through them. But if you have like little small spaces, then maybe try it. I guess everyone's experience is different with them. My main issue is that they kept wanting to take money out of my account without my consent. And just my liner is not ever really fitting me right. So it's definitely a long process that you have to go through with these people. And it's really, really hard to get in touch with them. If you've been with Small Direct, you know what like, I mean by it's hard to get in touch with these people. So this was it for today's video. Like I already said before, I really don't think Small Direct's for everybody. But honestly, I just... I don't think I would recommend it to people like that if you have like really tiny issues. But even if you have those tiny issues, like it's just... I wish I kind of would have went to a dentist and got it done. I felt like I would have been done paying for it by now and I'm still paying for it. I don't even know what exactly I'm paying for still, but it's definitely a long process that you're going to have to deal with. And it's really hard getting in touch with these people, like I said before, but overall I'd rate my experience like a three out of 10. It was not honestly the best at all. Um, you'll probably see a lot of videos on YouTube of people talking about them. And I promise you like it's, I really don't think it's worth it so definitely save your money and invest into a really good dentist that will get you the confidence and the smile that you need 
but like I said, this is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and I'll see y'all in my next video.